Hey, how's it going everybody? Derek here from Addictive Tips. So what you're looking at is my budgie desktop. Now, in this video, we're going to be going over how to make a core backup of your settings. So what that means is all of the configurations that it uses to define the desktop. So the panel and all of that. And in the article, we also go over how to back up your custom themes and all of that stuff. So please check out the link in the description. In this video, we're just going to be going over how to back up with Dconf and how to restore the backup. And uh, like I said, we'll be covering the icon theme and all of that stuff in the link below. So let's start off by explaining a little bit. So let's open up Dconf. So Dconf is where most of the stuff is defined in Budgie because Budgie uses a lot of the same technologies as Mate does or as GNOME. So for the Budgie project, everything is pretty much defined in how everything looks in com slash com slash solus. So if we go to the Budgie panel, we can see this is our panel. This is what theme it's using. This is, you know, all of these different settings. Go to the applets. We know what applets we have and all of that. And if we want to create a backup, we can open up a terminal. I've got quite a few terminals installed on this one. But, uh, and then we can do CD desktop, clear this out of the way, and we can do dconf dump com, and then I believe it was solus project. And we can dump that straight to a file. Let's call it solace budgie backup. Actually, let's make it a little bit simpler, just budgie backup. So now this is going to dump all of the settings. We can look at these settings here. And now we can see the panel and all of this. Now it's important to understand this is not a total system backup. So please don't, un don't act or assume uh, that it is because if you want a full system backup just backing up the aesthetics and the way your panels and desktops are set up This is not the way to go uh, Check out time shift or deja dupe for that But this is just how to you know keep your icons exactly the same or keep your desktop wallpaper the same Or keep your panels in the same way when you install a new distro or migrate to a different computer because you don't want to set up the customizations over and over and over and uh I need to stress that because I don't want you guys to get the wrong impression. This is still a useful exercise, especially because, you know, uh, setting up a desktop is quite tedious and uh, this is how you can get it to be automated. But anyways, so we've exported all of the data from this here into a file and now we can import it at any time. If we want to do a complete dump of everything that dconf has to ha offer, we can do dconf dump forward slash and then just full backup and this will do effectively the same thing except it will dump everything not just what budgie touches so this is the way to go if you want to back up and you don't want to miss anything you want to make sure every little setting on your computer that works with the dconf system is backed up and uh, if you want to restore those what you need to do is you need to do dconf and then load, and then you need to point to the directory. So we're gonna do the budgie backup first. So we'll do com solus project, and then we'll do budgie backup. Now this will load it back up. All the settings that we see in this file here goes directly back into this directory. So if somehow this got deleted or it looks different when you switch to a different distro, it gets all of this data and everything will go back to normal. And we could do the same thing for our, our full backup. So we can erase this here, do a deconf load, change this to full backup. That will load up and then all of the data here is now migrated back into dconf and that is how it works guys please check out the link in the description if you're looking to migrate your desktop to a different computer maybe you want to set up something identical this is what you do with budgie so please check that out very important that you read into it 
and learn more about all of this because it's a very complicated process. It's very tedious. I know I make it look easy, but it's actually not. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.